discoveries in fundamental science change the way we live, but it doesn't happen immediately. And to take an example, a little before the end of the 19th century, J.J. Thompson in Cambridge was making fundamental studies of the way electricity flows. And in the course of these studies, he discovered what was the first discovered elementary particle, the electron. And a huge electronics industry could not exist without the knowledge of the existence of this particle, which carries electric currents in all ordinary electric circuits. If J.J. Thompson, in 1897, had been directed to work on practical problems, problems of immediate technological importance, he would have developed a better steam boiler. But he would not have discovered the electron. Another, I think another important, and this is less rarely recognized, spin-off from high energy physics is that it has a tremendous intellectual attraction. And I see this with students coming into my university. Many of them are motivated to go into science because of the challenge of discovering fundamental facts about the way the world is ordered. And many of them become scientists who do things of great practical importance. The society that decides that it will only support applied science and not waste money on pure science is likely to be a society that will wind up with neither. <laughs>